In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus HNO3, potassium carbonate and nitric acid. So this is a double displacement reaction, and we end up with these products, potassium nitrate and then this carbonic acid. Carbonic acid, that's going to break down. It's going to decompose into carbon dioxide and water. So we'll balance this net ionic equation here where the carbonic acid is decomposed. This is usually what you're asked to do. So we first need to balance the molecular equation. You can see I have one potassium here and two here. Let's put a two here. Now I have two nitrates and only one. Put a two here. That should balance our molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Compounds with potassium, those are soluble, usually strong electrolytes. Nitric acid, that's a strong acid. It's a strong electrolyte. Potassium nitrate, both potassium and nitrate, when you see those things, you're thinking it's going to be soluble. Carbon dioxide's a gas. And then water, that is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. So potassium is in group one on the periodic table. We've got a plus one and the whole carbonate, that's always two minus. So we have two of those potassium ions and I'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not do that now. Plus the carbonate ion. Hydrogen group one has a plus and then the nitrate, the whole thing is always one minus. So I have two hydrogen ions plus that two goes to everything here. So I have two nitrate ions as well. So these are our reactants in the net ionic equation. Now the products, we said plus and minus. So two potassium ions, just like the reactants, plus two nitrate ions. And then for gases and liquids, we don't split those apart. So we'll have our CO2 plus our H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So here's our reactants and our products. I see we have two potassium ions in the reactants and two in the products. Get rid of those. And I can see here I've made a mistake. I didn't have my two go to everything. So this should be two nitrates. That makes sense. So now I have two nitrates here and two nitrates here, and they cancel out. What's left is the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus HNO3. Let me clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus nitric acid. You can see that charge is conserved. I have two minus here and then two times the one plus two plus. So if you add those up, that's neutral. And we can see these are neutral compounds and mass is conserved as well. If you count the atoms up each type, they'll be the same on both sides. One last thing, often you'll see the positive ion put first. Either way, it's the same net ionic equation. Maybe it looks a little nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for potassium carbonate and nitric acid. Thanks for watching.